Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make your Elementor website multi-language. So let's just begin. Alright, so to make our Elementor website a multi-language website, first of all what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. Here we have to search for polylang. So as you can see here, we have the polylang at the top of the search. So we have to click install now. And we also have to install one more plugin which is connect polylang for Elementor. Okay, so let's click on install now on this. Alright, so now we have to go inside the install plugins. And here we will actually activate both of our plugins that we have installed. So this will be the first one connect polylang for Elementor. And the second one would be polylang. Alright. So now let's click on the bulb action, click on activate and let's just click on apply now. Alright, so now you will be able to see the option of languages here. Okay, so we have to click on this and now we have to add the languages here. The first one would be the default one which will be the English. Okay, so let's just click here the English of the US. Let's just click on add new language. And we're going to add second language here. That would be, I think we're going to go here with Spanish. Okay, so I think we're going to go here with the Spanish. Yeah, for sure. And we can change the order here. So this would be, let's say, one. So now let's click on add new language. All right. So similarly, you can add the more languages if you want to. But right now, we're going to simply go here with the two languages. Okay, the first one, which is the default one, which is English. And the second one is actually the Spanish language. Okay. Right now, what we have to do, we have to set our post pages category or the text uh, with the default language. So for that, we're going to simply click on this. All right. So now what we have to do. So first thing that we have to do is we have to go into our website. Let's just click on visit site. Obviously, right now it won't have anything. This is a simple English website. So now we're going to go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard. Okay, so here you can see one thing here uh, that you have to translate your static front pages into the Spanish language. Okay, uh, Espanol language. So how can we do this? Okay, so that is really simple is that whatever the static pages that we have. So if you go into our pages, so here you can see here we are having these different static pages. We have about, we have contact, we have home, we have privacy policy, sample page and the services. So these are the different static pages here. Okay. So now what we have to do to make our website a multi-language website, we will need to translate the each page that we have here, each static page into the panel. Okay, so how can we do this? Okay, so right now I will only be translating one page, but the process will be similar for the other pages so that you will have the idea how it is going to work. Okay, so right now I'm going to simply click on the plus sign here. You can see this. We are having this pane icon here and the country icon here. So we have to click on this plus icon because I want to translate the whole page into the panel. So I'm going to simply click on this. So what this will do, this will actually create a new page that we actually have to create for our panel. So here, what we're going to do, we're going to simply click on add it with Elementor. So the first thing that we have to do is click on the page settings and I'm going to write down the name here. This will be the home. Uh, let's just write down Spanish. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to replicate our home page here. So for that, how can we do this? We're going to go back to our website. We're going to go inside the WordPress dashboard. And here, let's just go again into the pages. Since I'm trying to translate the home page, so that is why I'm going to go into the edit with Elementor in the home page. All right, so now what I will do, I would basically duplicate all the things that we have here on our this page okay so let's just copy and paste everything here so let's just click on copy here and we have to paste this here so let's click on control v similarly we're going to copy the second container and let's just paste the value here let's just paste it here and let's just go back we have to do this for two more times copy this 
paste it here and we have one last one so let's copy the last container here and here what we have to do we have to paste this here okay so as you can see this we are actually having the same copy of our home page now what we have to do we actually have to translate whatever text is written here into the spanish so how we are going to do this so here i'm going to use the google for that and i'm going to write down google translate here okay so this would be the spanish perfect so now what I have to do, I have to copy the things from here. So let's just click on the arts, copy the text, go to the translate, change this to the Spanish, copy this from here and go back to our page here. So this is how we are going to translate this. Okay. So similarly, we're going to translate the second text. All right. Copy this from here. And here we're going to simply change the text here. Similarly, we're going to change the text here of button okay so we have to put the value here so we have this enough text here so let's just quickly translate this into the spanish in the similar way so let's just copy this and we have to put it here and the second one copy this and paste it here and similarly i'm going to fill all of these things here okay all right so as you can see here i've actually translated all of this section so now we have these ones so let's just do this really quickly all right so i have translated the about us section now in the last we have this section all right so now you can see here in the last i have also translated the last section okay so this is how you can also translate the other pages but right now i will only be translating this one but the process will be same for the other pages as well okay so now what we have to do we actually have to publish this all right so now we have to go back to our wordpress dashboard let's just click on exit to the wordpress all right so now you can see here we have created the home spanish page and here you can see this we are having the flag of the spain on our new page okay so now what we have to do first let's just click on the visit site again okay so right now you can see here we don't have anything to change or translate uh, into this on another language so how can we change this it's pretty simple you're gonna go back into the apetias click on the menus and here what you have to do you have to add the languages to your menu okay but if you don't see this option you would have to click on the screen options and here you will be able to see language switcher option so you have to check this and then you will be able to see this option okay so we have to click on languages and now let's click on add to menu perfect so now when we click on this you will be able to see two things display as a drop down so i'm going to display this as a drop down and i'm going to also show the language name and we're going to also show the flags okay so now let's click on save menu here perfect now i'm going to simply refresh our website now you will be able to see the option of the languages here so you can see this we are having the two options so right now we are having the english language and also the spanish language okay so if i just click on the spanish language here you will be able to see that we are having a spanish language here on our home page you can see this here okay this is the same page that we have created all right now what we have to do Obviously, if I wanted to go back to the English page, how can I do this? It's pretty simple. We're going to go back here and we'll basically enable this menu on our uh, primary menu of this panel. So let's check on this one and let's click on save menu. And here you have to go inside the web tutorials, refresh the page. Now you'll be able to see that on our Spanish language of the website, we also see our menu here and from here i can go back to the english okay but let's just say that if you wanted to create the menu in the spanish so right now you can see this we are having the menu options in the english language let's just say that you want to have them in the spanish language so for that we will need to create the separate menu for that so how can you do this it's pretty simple you gotta simply click on create new menu here and this will be the main menu but in spanish okay and here it will be only visible on our primary menu spin all so let's click on this one 
create menu okay so now what we have to do first we're going to add the pages here so here on the home page i'm going to add the home spanish page as my home page then we're going to have this other pages about contact and in the services so first we're going to have our home page and after that we're going to have the about contact and the services okay but remember that for each page here you can see this we are having the about contact and the services you will need to create the new pages and then you have to translate all of these pages separately on those pages just like we have done this with our home page okay but right now we're going to simply change the name here to make our process simple okay so here what you have to do simply click on this one and let's just translate the home into the spanish copy this from here and for this here similarly for the about copy this put it here and let's just go back to the value here we're gonna do the same thing with the contact copy this put this here and in the last we are having the services okay so in the services let's just copy this really quickly and translate this here put the value here and all good okay so now what we have to do we have to add one more thing which is the language switcher let's just add to the languages perfect all right so now you can see here that all of our menu items are now in the spanish language so let's click on save menu and we're going to go back to our website refresh the page all right so we have to do one thing here we're going to go back and in the languages let's just select this as the drop down and the flag click on save menu perfect now let's go back to our website refresh this perfect so now you can see this we are on our home page in the spanish language and you can see even the menu options are in the spanish but let's just say if i just change this to the english you will be able to see all the menu options into the English language and also the website into the English language here. But when we go back and change this to the Spanish, it will be into the Spanish language. Okay. So this is how we can create the multi-language WordPress website in Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel. Hi everybody, today I will show you 